Let's talk about Alec Baldwin. So uh, we're, 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 we're going to revisit the Crowder stuff, obviously, because we have 50 billion super chats about it. <laughs> and I just want to let everyone know that YouTube, YouTube deletes the super chats after a certain amount of money. So we can only go back to like, there, there's a bunch, but I'll read them. And um, the current poll says, who is right, Candace? I'm sorry, who is right, Crowder or DW? 74% say Crowder, 26% say Daily Wire. But let's talk about Alec Baldwin. We have this story from Vanity Fair. Let me just say at the start of this segment, ladies and gentlemen, I believe I called it. And I had people telling me I was crazy and telling me I was wrong. He's being charged with, he is going to be charged with involuntary manslaughter. So is the armorer. Another guy, the assistant director, I think, uh, took a plea bargain, plea deal for negligent uh, discharge of a firearm. But let me tell you why I said I called it. There's a very important part in, uh, in this story that I will pull up right here. Vanity Fair says, in addition to the bullet that killed Hutchins, well, I'm sorry, let me slow down. Alec Baldwin, as you know, about a year ago, was on the set of a movie called Rust. He was using a real gun in the filming, aimed it at the cinematographer during filming, pulled the, tri pulled the hammer back, pulled the trigger, shooting her in the chest, penetrating her body and hitting another guy in the shoulder. Everybody was arguing whether it was an accident, how could the bullet have gotten the gun? I made the argument that we had learned Alec Baldwin was in a dispute. The, the, I should say the, the execs of the movie production, the, the higher ups, which includes Alec Baldwin, were in dispute with the crew. The crew was threatening to walk off set. There was animosity. Alec Baldwin said he was friends with her. Then he said they weren't friends. They didn't know each other. He had a, a dinner with her. Sounded like they were friends. Or was it negotiations? He also said in an interview that she was very forceful. I can't remember the word he used. And she kept telling him to do things over and over again. It sounded like he was venting frustrations. About Helena. About Helena. Oh, I didn't know that. Right. And so I said, that sounds to me like motive. Motive. What is it? Your crew is threatening to walk off set, costing you money. And Helena Hutchins was doing what cinematographers aren't supposed to do, giving you direction. That he seemed annoyed by, my personal opinion, but it's something he expressed. Opportunity. He had a gun, a real gun, that was supposed to be pointed, not at a human being. This is against the rules in any movie set. You never point a gun at a person no matter what. This well, is against the rules ever, always, yeah, in always. shooting. Like, not just unless, you, unless you're intending to destroy it. Right. <laughs> and hunting, Alec Baldwin everything. lied and said he never pulled the trigger, just went off. That's impossible. It was a single action revolver. Hammer has to be pulled back. Trigger has right. to be pulled. Get this. Vanity Fair reports. In addition to the bullet that killed Hutchins, investigators found five additional live rounds of ammunition mingled among the movie's props and costumes. Two loose 45 a caliber bolts were discovered on top of a prop cart. A third was in a bandolier worn by Jensen Akles. A fourth was in a gun belt worn by Baldwin. And a fifth was found in a box of dummy ammo. Entirely possible. Uh, with Gutierrez Raid's fingerprints on it, they say. It's entirely possible someone mist mistook the live ammo that was lying around for dummies, put them in the box. Hannah Gutierrez Reed pulled the ammo uh, dummy, uh, dummy rounds out of the box, didn't realize, loaded the gun, and that's what happened. Entirely possible. But when you factor all these things together, Alec Baldwin had live ammo on his belt, had the gun, pointed it at her, and shot and killed her. Mm -hmm. I don't understand how anybody would argue that it's more likely it was an accident when it's like he was mad at her because of the crew walk-offs, potentially. He pointed the gun at her, he shot her, and he had live ammo on his person. So it's like if we were going to ask someone Occam's razor. In the absence of evidence, the solution that makes the least amount of assumptions tends to be the correct one. How did the gun, how did the bullets get in the gun? Well, you see what happened was somebody was doing target practice with the gun and they left bullets outside. One day, a, a crew member was cleaning up the bullets and didn't realize they were alive, so they put them back in the box. The box was then placed in the cabinet. Hannah Gutierrez, -Reed, not realizing this, grabbed the box, opened it up, pulled the bolts out, put them in the gun, handed it to the AD, who didn't check it, and then handed it to Alec Baldwin, who didn't check it, and then it went off on accident. Or Alec Baldwin didn't like the lady, took a bullet from his own belt that had bullets in it, and shot her. Which one is the conspiracy theory and which one is the simple solution? Sorry, man. I just, he had a bullet on his belt. Okay, that's, that there were live bullets found all over the place or like five of them makes me, gives me some reasonable doubt that maybe he didn't know what was, he wasn't the one that was ringleading this, that someone went in there. And also, I do agree that he didn't like Helena Hutchins. I felt like she was probably playing the alpha role and he felt emasculated. He's like, I'm supposed to, but he, she was treating him like an actor. You're doing what I say. Get this done. We're doing the shot. He's like, I'm the, I'm the producer. I'm in charge. So he was like, bang, bang, you're dead. Like a petulant child. <laughs> Why bang, bang? Yeah, like playing cowboys and Indians when he was a little the kid. single bang. 
Yeah, bang. And he's like just fantasizing about killing her. And, and it turned out there someone had loaded his gun. Yeah, I mean, I want to be clear. He's not being tried for murder. He's being tried for manslaughter. So the, right. they they have felt that after examining the evidence that he did this by accident. And what you're alleging is that maybe it wasn't so much of an accident and he actually didn't like her. I can't get over the fact that he pointed the gun at a human being. It's, it's yeah. so important to say this is not a rule on set. This is a rule always. And maybe in totally. New York City where people don't know anything about guns, he knows things a thing or two about guns. He's been in plenty of movies. It's, it, I mean... It doesn't really, nothing, no, I cannot go over the fact that he did not know that you should never, under any circumstances, unless you are actually actively trying to kill a human that walked in, you know, broke into your homes, attacking your children, do you ever point a gun, whether it is loaded or completely empty, at a human being, ever. And Literally, if you're walking through the forest and you're about to go on a hunt, you never, ever, not even in joke, in jest, ever, are supposed to even put, the, you're supposed to keep it down at all times, and right? Unless you're the trigger. Yeah, treat look, every fire I, wrong. So, like, at, it's like it's loaded. That is, that is just no a known what. rule. I even point yeah. imaginary guns down when I'm pretending to yeah. be a guy with a gun. Yeah, he knew that. It. There's just no way that he didn't know that. But look what the media said. Like the the, the media ran to his defense. They were they they were saying that he uh, is the media. Right. They, they came out and they were like, "It was a horrible, tragic accident," and they didn't bother asking any questions. They didn't bother investigating. Mm -hmm. And if we had a fair media from the get go, the first thing that should have happened is there was fighting on the set. Alec Baldwin is unhappy, extremely frustrated. He is known for having a temper. He's crazy. He's known he's, he's for striking unstable. people. Yeah, he screaming attacked at his own daughter, calls her like a fat pig, and like he's yeah. crazy. This man is obviously unhinged. He's completely and utterly unhinged. There's no question. But it doesn't matter actually in Hollywood if you're unhinged, the better, right? Chrissy Teigen, Alec Baldwin. These people have told you a thousand times that they are mentally unstable, angry people, Yo. and yet the media goes, "Ha, ah, he's he, funny. Let's put him on." on uh, they celebrate. I was at South Park. They, what is they, it? They prop them up all the time. Especially the more crazier that they are, the more the, the media loves them, which is mm -hmm. a, a, actually a perfect representation. He was also very outspoken against gun rights activists, and now here he is in this particular situation. Now I don't know what happened here. We're gonna, we're, you know, a lot of people are speculating. Let's see what's going to happen through this court case. Uh, you know, obviously, if this happened to a random Joe Schmo, there would have been charges a lot quicker. The fact that there wasn't charges and the fact that there was so long, so much time in between this is, you know, a little fishy. But let, fifteen months. Let, let's see what happens happens in the court of law let's okay. see what happens with the evidence let's see uh who you know changed their story who tried to cover something up because there's multiple stories there's multiple things we don't know what happened let's wait and see is that are there more charges or is this the only charge there's two charges the jury can choose from one is five years in prison mandatory Hold, I, and i think he gets it check this out he should get it they say the first charge is simple involuntary manslaughter for this to be proved there must be underlying negligence under New Mexico law, involuntary manslaughter is a fourth degree felony punishable by up to 18 months in jail and a $5,000 fine. It includes the misdemeanor charge of negligent use of a firearm. Seems like a slap on the wrist. The other charge is involuntary manslaughter in the commission of a lawful act. This charge requires proof that there was more than simple negligence involved in the death. It's also a fourth degree felony punishable by up to 18 months in jail and a $5,000 fine. However, this charge includes a firearm enhancement or added mandatory penalty because a firearm was involved. The firearm enhancement makes the crime punishable by a mandatory five years in jail. Based on the official narrative, Alec Baldwin should get the mandatory minimum. I'm not a fan of mandatory minimum, minimums, and I don't think justice will be served necessarily by sending Alec Baldwin to prison for five years. But based on the laws it stands, I'll tell you why I think he should go to jail for five years. Negligence. He was running the show. He was the producer. They were using the gun from the movie to shoot real bullets. They knew there were negligent discharges on set. That is, that, that, that says to me that they say it requires more than simple negligence. Simple negligence, in my opinion, and maybe it's a legal term, so maybe I'm wrong, but my opinion on this is if someone, unbeknownst to Alec Baldwin, was using live bullets, I'd say, look, Alec, he should have had, um, he should have known where that gun was at all time, at times someone should have been in charge so maybe it's it's not his fault that you know this happened but he knew there were negligent discharges now it's not just simple negligence now it's him being like there, there's something more there 
You mean that, that and I think you're you're saying that prior to that negligent discharge, there were there were previous negligent discharges on set. Knew. So he knew that there were some mistakes happening. And you would think that after the first mistake and you go, oh, great, nobody died. You would go, let's make sure that we button this up as I am the producer of this. Right. We need to button this up. And again, I can't I just cannot say a thousand times over. If you're trying to present the case for the prosecution here, you're just going to say, how many times has Alex been in a movie where there have been guns fired? He knows this protocol. He knows that you do not point a gun, whether it is loaded or not, at another human being. Not only point, pointing would be negligent. By the way, if he had hit her and it was a fake round, he would be negligent. Forget. Right. I mean, pointing it is you just you just don't pull the trigger and point it and then pull the trigger. And the last thing I want to say is that I think that in terms of the publicity surrounding this, if he had instantly come out and said, "This is we are." so we feel so horrified we are so sorry i I, i'm just devastated by this i'm just going away forever Mm -hmm. like he was he has acted the part of such arrogance right right? anytime anybody asked a question he was angry how dare you Mm -hmm. You i'm alec baldwin like the way that he has acted after this as if he's done nothing wrong i mean the first thing that his statement he rushes to make after these charges is total and complete miscarriage of justice yeah, it is this yeah, is, is this pompous nature that yeah. is that that is really for me the nail in the coffin and if i am on that jury i am moving to convict mm-hmm. this is this is why i think honestly i don't know if i would but let me let me say this the reason i say the five years in prison just to elaborate he knew there were neglig- negligent discharges now you can argue well but it was simple negligence that he didn't correct that mistake that he didn't lock things down that's what negligence is aha uh-huh, right. yes then he picked the gun up pointed at her and pulled the trigger right so you want to talk about simple negligence it would be the 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 producer on set not Alec Baldwin who knew there were discharges and did nothing to correct that problem he's responsible oh he got he ple- he pleaded he took a plea bargain for negligent discharge of weapon Alec Baldwin knew there were there was live ammo on set, had live ammo on, on his person, decided to take the gun, knowing this, pointed at a woman and pull the trigger. Mm-hmm. Now, come on. I would actually argue murder. Yeah. Like passion, yeah. homicide, lower totally. degree. But we don't have it, right? So you at would have to, least. at the very least, you have to move to convict on the charges. And I can't For see sure. how a jury outside of being but, an Alec Baldwin fan does not actually move to convict him. I, yeah, actually, I'll, I'll, I'm going to change my what I just said. I want to clarify. I think you're right. If I was in the jury and they said, you know, man- mandatory five years in jail, I might nullify that, but agree with him being charged. I don't like mandatory minimums. I don't think justice is served by sending them to prison for five years. Like a year, like five years is not going to change what happened. It's not going to change Alec Baldwin. I think it would change Alec Baldwin. Well, you're right. It, it, it would, would change him. I just don't think it would actually like. I, he's, he's a very angry, erratic, unstable man. And I think some time alone in a cell with another big guy, the five years is a could really be, read long some books. time. They got yoga. They probably have to a nice prison. I, I think that it's a, yeah, it's a long enough time that it could change yeah, them. Well, maybe, a lot maybe. of celebrities are just totally out of touch. A lot of them are egomaniacs. A lot of them are just sociopaths. And as soon as this happened, he tried to, of course, uh, put blame on anyone else but him. He, oh, the yeah, first thing yeah. he said is, quote, someone is responsible, but I know it is not me. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. a horrible thing. Imagine no, you're this family. Then this is somebody's yeah. mother. I mean, think yeah. about this. It's horrible. The emotional yeah. trauma of this guy basically being like, I don't know what's going to prison but we know it ain't me exactly and then and then and talking about this he he, he kind of uh, alluded that he's the second victim here out of all of this especially with some of the statements that he was making afterwards which is absolutely just delusional which shows you this kind of out of touch re- reality perspective that a lot of these very powerful people that are that are empowered by this cd uh, i would even say satanic entertainment industry the people that prop up are some of the worst human beings on the face of this earth and sometimes they do deserve a big reality check and and i think this is maybe but but they're, they're so far in the weeds, maybe could provide that. Thanks for watching this clip from the Timcast IRL podcast. Hang out with us live Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. and become a member over at Timcast.com for uncensored members only shows exclusive. Thanks for hanging out and we'll see you all next time.